Hello guys, uh, welcome back. And today I just want to make a little video about um, the co-drivers. Um, well, not so much the co-drivers, but specifically this one, um, the J co-driver. Because this co-driver is really, really going to make a, um, a really good difference to Typhoons and Scorpions. Um, so just to just to put it into perspective, this uh, what this co-driver does. Um, it's activation perk. Um, Gains up to four charges by hitting an enemy at a distance of at least 80 meters. Um, at least three seconds must pass between the hits. Accumulated charges are reset if all the shots from all weapons miss the target or over time. And then the effect is each charge increases the damage of all weapons by 7%. So you can stack this four times, giving you a total of 28% damage buff to uh, anything that hits your target at least 80 meters or more. And then the passive skills are as the projectile speed, 5%, that's not too bad. Um, weapon spread, minus 10, doesn't really make a difference on scorpions or typhoons. And then ammo pack mass, which is, you know, that's just good for anything. So, uh, going off old, uh, because now the, the, ta the scorpion has actually, oh wait one second, let me just change my controls to sideways. Okay, so uh, the scorpion used to deal 560 damage per shot, or per two scorpions did 560 damage. No longer, no longer, sorry, is that the case? They now deal 532 damage, so it's 28 uh, damage enough than over 560 what it used to do. Um, so it is a little nerf. I'm not sure if they included it in the patch notes. It's not a massive nerf. It's not really much to probably notice. Uh, used to be 560, now it's 532. Um, however, there is a code driver uh, you can use which actually buffs the damage over 560. In fact, it's quite a lot over 560, as long as you hit your targets. Um, so, that is the J code driver, and that's what we're going to be using. That's what this video is about. Let's just activate that. So, um, as you can see at the bottom, we have a little under next to the durability. We have a new a new kind of uh, section, which is the code driver section, uh, which is the perk, and if it's charged or whatnot, um, whatever you want to call it. So, 560 is the base damage of what the scops used to do. Now it's 532. Um, if you get one charge on J, um, oh, I didn't charge it then because they go up to. It went over 18 meters. Okay, so now I have one charge. So my next shot will deal 569. With two shots charges, it will deal 606. And then, okay, let me just get it back to four charges because it keeps. Right, okay, so we're at four charges now. No, we're not. We're back at three. Stay at four. 681. So if you have this thing charged up fully, you will do 681 per shot as long as you keep hitting your target and as long as you keep that perk charged at four that is really really good i'm not going to say it's broken but that's really good if you if you got a, a scorpion player that you know doesn't miss the targets consistently and so it hits his targets consistently um and they can keep that perk charged up at four you're going to be doing some really really good damage this is also probably going to work for typhoons um as well just as good um and no i want to say it's going to work with the kaiju but the thing with the kaiju is it's um actually let's you know what let's try it let me just get okay so um just excuse this awful build i've literally just pulled the scorpions off just to test it and put a kaiju on it um so i don't think it's going to work with the kaiju reason being is you've got to charge it and it's going to take a lot longer to reload um, okay, didn't get the perk for some reason. Move back a bit. Right, okay, so there's one charge. Can we get it to two before it goes back to zero? Oh, we can. Oh, it's gone back to one again. And this is going to be really tough to get it to four charges. Yeah, you see, it just keeps going. Every time I charge the Kaiju, it looks like it's just going back to one. And now you could probably quick charge the kaiju to get it up quicker, but then you're not getting the perk of the kaiju, which is almost pointless. Um, so yeah, I don't think the perk of this is good. You're not going to benefit the same with this per core driver as you are with other weapons. Like, you can charge the perk up, but it's, it looks like it's almost impossible to get the kaiju to four charges. Because as soon as you get it up to another charge, it just goes back down to one, so... Um, yeah, I don't think the kaiju is going to work with this, unfortunately. Okay.
Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, there's um, a bit more. I can shed some more light on some of the other core drivers um, when I can think of some builds to throw them up with. Um, but yeah, that's just a little insight as to the driver, core driver J. Um, if anyone's looking to use a core driver with the Scorpions or the Typhons, um, this is definitely probably one of, if not the best core driver to use out of all of them. Hope you enjoyed the video and leave a like.